Okay, hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with old mode. Today is Friday, a Friday late night already, so I keep this snippet a bit shorter than usual. Uh, we will have a look at a very uh, useful but very simple function and it's uh, about archiving to individual files. The goal that I have for this snippet is uh, you remember our book list that we created the other day with the capture template and then I correct it because I made a mistake in the template. Now I pretend I have uh, uh, read the first book completely and I want to archive that. If I would archive it to my global archive file, that's myarchive.org, it would get lost somewhere in that file because when you archive it's practically just appending to that file so the book entry would be in between the other things that I archive in that file and I wouldn't find it. But I want to have a, a file uh, that just keeps track of all the books I have read. So the easier way to do that is you define a property that is called archive. Here I define that property directly on the top level under the book set line and there's a property drawer you see I can open I can close it and it has just one property that's the archive property and it points to a file trackbooks.org and to a headline that says uh, red books. So this is on the top level and that means every children of this uh, book's headline, this uh, one of those three entries, will get that archive uh, property inherited. So now you remember archiving is done, you put your cursor on that line and you press Ctrl C, Ctrl X and Ctrl A. So let's do that, Ctrl C, Ctrl X, Ctrl A and now this done entry is archived and you see subtree is archived in a file orgtrackbooks.org. We can have a look at this file. Let me save the original file and you see it's here in a buffer. And if I have a look at it, you see this is my trackbooks file. It got the first entry and when I file the next book it will end up down here somewhere. But I have all my red books in one file. It's not spread uh, somewhere in a big archive file, it's just one file that says okay I'm uh, tracking what books uh, did I read uh, recently and of course all the properties are still there. You see the pages and the adventure genre uh, information is there. It's that it was uh, to do, even the logbook entry that says yeah that was an interesting book. So. Just imagine if in three years somebody asks me, hey, did you already read uh, Treasure Island? I can have a look at that file and say, yeah, I read it at this time and yeah, I liked it a lot because there were lots of pirates and so on. So this is practically uh, filing to a individual file. I used it quite often in my org mode files because uh, the global archive is nice, but if I think, uh, for example, at work, I have different internal customers. One is uh, third level support, one is pre sales support, and one is uh, development. And uh, so I have a hierarchy that says, okay, we have a headline third level support and, and development and so on. And every action I do for them, I file them in a track uh, things for third level or track things for development. So whenever somebody asks you, what did you do for my department lately? I can look in my uh, tracker file and say, yeah, that was uh, all the tasks that I did for you. Or even at home. I do the same. I, I'm, I'm desperately trying uh, to learn the bass, the, the musical instrument. And I have bought a book with a lot of lessons and I have a project that says, yeah, I want to uh, practice bass and, and want to learn it. And the average task is uh, now work through chapter 5. And if I'm done with chapter 5, I archive that and it goes to a file track uh, 
your music practice. So you see you can track practically everything so that my archive.org up here, the global file, is more or less a, a fallback if you haven't defined something else somewhere in your local properties. And you see that inheritance uh, thing is very useful because uh, whatever is uh, below that first level headline until the next gets that property inherited. Okay guys, that's all for today. I hope you had a great week. You learned a lot, I hope. And uh, I'm already preparing the episode for next week that will be a bit deeper into timers and clogging and so on. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll be back as usual. And thanks for all the comments and the subscriptions to my YouTube channel. And I try to keep on uh, and introduce some more advanced concepts uh, because after the three weeks now I guess you already have a good idea what you can do with org mode. Uh, but there are a lot of advanced uh, things that we can show in the next episodes. So I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching.